A shareholder agreement should include several key components. Here are eight things your agreements should cover. Shareholder rights and responsibilities outline the specific rights and responsibilities of shareholders, such as the right to vote on important matters and the responsibility to abide by the terms of the agreement. Ownership structure explains the number of shares that have been issued, the percentage of ownership held by each shareholder, and any restrictions on the transfer of shares. Decision-making procedures establish procedures for making decisions about the company, such as the process for voting on important matters and the approval of major transactions. Conflict of interest provisions address potential conflicts of interest that might arise between shareholders, such as provisions for dealing with related party transactions. Dispute resolution procedures establish procedures for resolving disputes that may arise between shareholders, such as provisions for mediation or arbitration and procedures for bringing legal action. Restrictions on share transfer outlines any restrictions on the transfer of shares, such as the requirement for approval from other shareholders or the company's board of directors. Information rights outlines the rights of shareholders to access financial and other information about the company, such as financial statements and management reports. Governing law and jurisdiction specifies the laws and jurisdiction that will govern the shareholder agreement and any disputes that may arise under it. Overall, these eight things should be included in a shareholder agreement to ensure that it is comprehensive and covers all the important aspects of the company's ownership structure, decision-making procedures, dispute resolution, and other important areas. It helps protect the rights and interests of all shareholders and ensures the company can operate smoothly.